what is up everyone rob here with chalk talk nation and as you all know by now a lot is going around the league and twitter facebook instagram tiktok even uh, about the astros press conference yesterday with uh, astros owner jim crane jose altuve josh reddick uh, talking in the locker room as well as alex bregman uh, some more thoughts that i need to get off here uh, cody bellinger he responded and he responded the perfect way you know i think what people don't realize is Altuve stole an MVP from Judge in 17. Um, everyone knows they stole the ring from us. I know personally I lost respect for those guys. Um, I think I would say everyone in the show in the big leagues lost respect for those guys. I don't know what human hits a walk-off home run against Raldis Chapman to send your team to the World Series. And one has the thought to say don't rip my jersey off but to go in the tunnel, change your shirt, and then come out and do your interview. Like that, that makes no sense to me. It makes zero sense to me, because I know me. Gary Sanders said yesterday, you can rip my shirt off, my pants off. I set my team the World Series off for all this Chapman in the ninth inning at home. You can do, you know, I'm going crazy. So with this, how do we perceive other players? Because if you think about Major League Baseball, there are players on the 2017 team that are now spread across Major League Baseball. Marwin Gonzalez with the Twins, he came out a couple days ago, and he even mentioned that he doesn't know or think that they could have won the World Series. And also Jake Marisnik with the Mets now. He probably had the most genuine apology. Here it is for you guys. How's everybody doing today? Um, yeah, I want to I start with um, apologizing for what happened in 2017. Uh, I mean, I feel I feel terribly about it. There's a line, and it was definitely crossed. And uh, I want to say sorry to uh, the fans, Major League Baseball, uh, my peers, and anybody else who's affected by this. Um, I mean, when I come in here, I don't want to be a distraction to the Mets clubhouse, but I do I do recognize that this is a this is a major deal, this is a big deal, and that's why uh, I'm here today to talk to you guys about it <clears throat> and to discuss it. And then also, Tony Kemp, who was called up in September of 2017, he actually refused to steal signs. And that just came out today on February 14th, about 30 minutes ago. So I just want your all's opinions and thoughts on this because it's speculating across the league. And you have to think about these clubhouses when they have these former players that played on that team. It really is going to hurt them in a way, right? And... You know, how is this going to be for Major League Baseball? You know, we are trying to grow the game, and it's going to be hard when we have people who give fake apologies. You know, they're sorry for breaking the rules. They didn't apologize for cheating, and they didn't admit that they were wrong. They just said sorry for breaking the rules. And Jim Crane is contradicting himself when he's saying all these things. When he went, what was it? He said something like, uh, he said it did not directly impact the game. But then asked 50 seconds later, he said, uh, someone said it does impact the game, and then he and then he said that it, I never said that. So he was basically contradicting himself entirely. So the whole organization is tainted. We already talked about this a little bit. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, in response with Cody Bellinger, what he said. And we know Mike Clevenger, he sounded off on Watch Momentum uh, a couple weeks ago as well. And he's right. You know, players are losing millions of dollars, and people are taking advantage of that on the Astros staff. You know, people are just trying to stay in the league. It, it's hard for them. And what Clevenger said, he said that he had to stay with his mom until he made it to the major leagues when he was solidified. So I think 2020 is going to uh, shape up to be one of the most interesting seasons of all of baseball. And uh, just let me know what you guys think. So I'll be back with another video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and follow us at Chalk Talk Nation. Visit our website, www.chalktalknation.com dot com.